you clicked on this video, there's a chance that you might be concerned with your physics exam and it's completely all right. You know, back in my high school days when I used to talk to my classmates who were seating for repeats, they did not do good in their class and they did not get their expected results from their A-level physics exam and then they were sitting for repeats and they used to ask me how do you do how did you do good in your exam and i used to ask them back what was your method and this happened for my juniors too as well my juniors had done bad and they had asked me bro do you have any advices and i always asked them back what was the way that you studied what was the method of studying that you followed and different people had different strategies that they followed but all of them linked to one common mistake that they did that caused them their A-levels exam. And that mistake was not starting practicing question papers early enough. And I can see where it's, it's coming from. For example, when you are going to your teacher, some of the teachers might tell you that do not start question papers early enough. Don't start question papers before you are done with the syllabus. Or there are just a few question papers that are available, so do not waste question papers. There are a lot of advices that are given by the teachers. I did not find correct. I did not find correct. For example, the first myth is the teachers say there are not many past papers, so if you just look at the mark scheme and see the results and the answers, you won't be able to do good in your final exam since you will be wasting the resources. And this is one of the myths that teacher told me, but it's not true. It's because there are so many question papers available. For example, let's take the example of Edexcel. There are papers that date back to 2002 or 2003, and there are papers that you can practice, and they are really standard papers that you can practice. So it's not the case that not many papers are available. This is one of the myths why one of my close friends did not start question papers early enough and he listened to those teachers who say that and he ended up doing bad in his exams. And after he went for the repeat when he practiced many as many question papers as possible, he really did good in his exams. He went from a C grade to an A grade within two months. So it's really important to do question papers on time. I cannot stress this enough. So now let me tell you how exactly to avoid this mistake and how to get onto doing question papers earlier on, even if you're not prepared enough to do the question papers. And the teachers are also correct in a way that if you are not well prepared or well familiar with the syllabus, then you might not find it easy or comfortable to do the question papers. So this is the way how I did question papers. So this is completely natural and it will take time to solve question papers. So at first, for example, you have nine months to prepare for your exam and let's break it down into three sections. The first one is the first three months of your exam preparation, the second three and the third three months. So three, 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 nine month time to prepare for your exam. So in the first three months, you just have to go to Google and just type the syllabus content that is there and then just learn what is teaching you based on the syllabus and the book that is offered by your exam board, be it at Excel or Cambridge or AQA or OCR, whatever it is, almost all the syllabus content are the same. So just go to YouTube or Google and then just search the syllabus content and go through the syllabus and learn what is teaching you. If there is something that is not in your syllabus but is still teaching you, it's completely all right. You are just watching a video, right? You're not wasting a lot of time there. So within the first three months, I would recommend you to just finish the book, collect any notes if you can for, for any teachers. If you don't have any notes, that's fine. You just have to be familiar with the topic so that you can start doing question papers on time. And I can guarantee you that if you did not practice early enough, then this is the thing that will cost you and your exams. So this is the way how you can start. In the first three months, just be familiar with the topic. If you find anything that you might be struggling or might be stuck with, don't waste time there. Just move on. Just make sure that you just know the basics of the syllabus. And after you are done with that, you just have to move on to starting question papers. And I recommend you to start doing question papers in your month four out of your nine months that you have. So you will spend three months to complete as many question papers as you can. And after that, you have to complete as fast as you can. And then you have the time to do question papers. So at first, doing the first question paper, it will take you a lot of time. For, for my case, I was just doing question papers, taking breaks and doing question papers again. And for that, it took me around nine hours to really complete and understand and remember what the answers are saying. So at first, it will really take you a lot of time to do the question papers. But the first day, it will take you nine hours then seven hours, then six hours. The next paper might take you three hours. And then it will reduce to one hour in your month eight or month nine. So if you're in your month seven or month six, don't worry. 
you are not expected to be prepared enough you just have to stick with your physics and just keep studying and keep studying till the last moment you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to go to the teachers and just give mocks and see how you are doing if you are in your month seven you will not do good since the time frame of levels is finally calculated for you to prepare it in nine months so you just have to focus on doing as many question papers as you can and just get through doing question papers if you can stick to doing question papers as much as you can you will eventually be prepared for your exams and you will eventually do good now this part of the video is for those who are already done with their olivals and are preparing for AS or if you are already in AS and if you are watching this video in your grade 11 then this video is for you so that you can prepare well enough for your grade 12 you know so it goes for those students who will be starting grade 11 next year or starting grade 12 next year this is the exact way that you have to follow to get very good marks in A-levels at first suppose you are done with your O-levels and you are starting your AS in this your A-level syllabus at least 10 days before your classes start so for example you are a school student and your school starts on August 10th you need to start preparing from August 1st so for this you just have to go to YouTube you open your book and see the keywords that they talk about and mark my words if you are doing unit 1 for example of edXL it will only take you 10 days to be familiar with the topic and when you're done with reviewing the syllabus within 10 days you can easily go to question papers and at that time it might take you a lot of time for example a day or two days to finish one question paper but that's okay it's okay because you might take one day to finish a question paper but you are taking that one day early on in your school life and not two months before the exam so just be familiar with the syllabus content so when you're going to class it's really a revision for you that being said you do not have to do this for other subjects since physics is a subject that takes away a lot of time so you have to do it and if you do this if you progress physics earlier on in the year then you can make time for other subjects later on if you want to do physics in the last three months of your exam preparation physics will be the only subject that you will be studying and in the end you won't do good so when you're on YouTube and you are studying and you are familiar with the exam concepts and when you are just practicing the question papers the others are starting on the syllabus so at that point you might might have a lot of confusions you might not understand a lot of questions that the question paper is asking but this is the time that you have to ask your teachers the question when the teacher introduces a topic to you you have the chance you you know what you don't know right so you just have to ask your teacher what what your problems are and your teacher will explain it to you and your teacher will actually think that you are a smart kid he you are a good student and clear up your mistakes when others are just preparing and mark my word if you think that it is too much for you I can tell you that only those who follow this instruction got the A star grade there's a huge difference between A grade and A star grade but A grade is also good but you, if you are aiming for an A star it's definitely necessary to be ahead of your class and although if you have a bad teacher if you're asking too many questions he might be annoyed at you but this is the perfect time to clear up your problems and if that bothers your teacher you have to ask questions and you have to clear up your confusions you take one paper solve it out of the 80 marks generally it's 90 marks now for edXL and I think 70 marks for Cambridge if I'm not wrong so for example out of the 90 marks you can do you can understand 70 marks since most of the questions and most of the solutions are in the mark scheme but if you can't understand the mark scheme you can just mark it live it make a list of the question papers for example you do not understand question 2 part C of January 18 you can write it in a note and you can just live it there so for example you're done with January 2018 and you can move on to June 2018 so you have a checklist that okay I have done January 2018 I can solve 75 marks but I need explanations for the other 15 marks so you just live it like that and you start with June 2018 and for example out of the 90 marks you can do 80 marks you need explanation for 10 marks and so on and you repeat the process for around 10 to 12 papers and mark my words you won't be able to do 10 to 12 papers when if you are starting your question paper journey very late for example when you have three months of time left before your exam so you need to start on early but if you are in your AS right now and you are regretting I saw many many of my friends regretting for not doing question papers on time don't worry try as much as possible and just give your AS exam but when you are starting your A2 you have to follow this guideline and instruction since for the A star grade then all that matters is your A2 you have to score 90% as of now when, you're, when I'm recording the video you need 90% in your 
A2 or your grade 12 to get the A star grade. So just a recap of your total exam preparation from start to end. So at first, around 10 days before your classes start, for example, AS or A2, just go to the book or go to the specification and search the keywords of what your exam will be testing you on, the syllabus. You go to the syllabus and you search on YouTube and just watch videos on the topics that are covered in the syllabus. Afterwards, when you're done with the syllabus, around 50%, you will be attending the classes where the teacher will, will be introducing the topics to you. And that is your chance to ask the questions to your teacher. And when the teacher is halfway through the syllabus, you should be done with the syllabus and you will be starting your question papers. The first question paper might take you a day or two days, but it's okay. It will just reduce to two days, one and a half day, one day, six hours, three hours, and then it will just reduce to your exam time limit, but it will happen in the last day or the last 15 days of your exam preparation since the syllabus and the time frame is designed by Edexcel or Cambridge so that it tests how efficiently you can prepare for your exam and how efficiently you can finish your syllabus and attain the level of skill you require to give the exam. So when you, when you have two months remaining, this is the time when you will see your classmates starting to do question papers and they will be really, really stressed about it. And I mean it, I have seen my classmates, I have seen my juniors, they really become very stressed about their physics exam and entirely spend all of their time on physics and not any other subjects. And physics is not a subject that you can prepare overnight or you can prepare in one or two months. So what happens is they focus all of their time in physics, they don't do in physics, they don't do good in physics and they don't do good in their A-levels as well and they have to sit for repeats. So just question paper preparation as early as you can and avoid this mistake. If you think that you don't want to utilize or just solve the most recent question papers, what the teachers say that there are not many question papers available, it's true in a way that there are not many recent question papers available. So you can just go back and just do the question paper that dates back to 2002 or 2003. And these questions also come, trust me, in my exam. I did a question which came back in 2006 and it did not appear and it was a pretty hard question, but it helped me since I did that question and I just copied or implemented the mark scheme that I remembered on the day of exam. And this is how this allowed me to get the A star grade in physics really easily. And this is one of the things that no one talks about. No one will tell you to do the question papers on time, but you might be wondering who told me? The answer is one of my seniors told me to, to do question papers on time and he also received an A star grade there. He was the only one to receive an A star grade in physics in his class. And I'm really grateful for, to that senior who showed me the way to study, get an A star grade in my physics exam, and it really helped me. But not a lot of people are lucky enough to get advices from good seniors. And this is where I come in. I will be giving you the advices that I got from my seniors or, or how I experienced and what I learned through, throughout my journey of A-levels and help you do good. So, and the way you can really avoid that mistake is start question papers on time. Do not wait for your classmates to finish the syllabus or do not wait for your teachers to finish the syllabus. Just go to YouTube and learn the basics of the syllabus. And for example, the book is not good for preparing for your exams. It's because the book contains a lot of things that are not necessarily in the syllabus. The books are just written by writers who follow the syllabus and who try to explain stuff to you in the easiest way. But there are a lot of things that are not entirely clearly written in the book but they really repeat in the question papers. And if you do the older question papers, for example, 2003 and 2004, then you will see that there's a pattern. The truth about A-levels is the professors are lazy. They do not have the time to come up with new questions all the time. So they will just go to the previous years, pick up questions and just give it to you to solve in your final exam. And guess what? You have already done the questions and you will be able to solve the questions that most of the people in your class will not be able to. And this is the only reason. Why? Just because you started your question papers earlier. Right, that was it from me with what the most common mistake is to which might cost you the A star grade. Now, this is just a short information section. I have made a playlist of videos that I will be including. For example, there will be a playlist that it only contains the advices that I give. And there will be playlists where I have solved physics question paper videos. For example, there is physics at Excel question paper videos on MCQs, which I have solved. So there's a separate section for unit one, there's a separate section for unit four. So you can just go there and watch the videos. It doesn't matter if you are from AQA or if you are from Cambridge or OCR, all of these resources will help you to develop your concept. 
and when it comes to A levels, you really have to know the concept. If you memorize, it won't help you. So what I would suggest you is to just go there and see what topics you have in common. If you are Cambridge or AQA, you can just go there and where, wherever the syllabus matches, you can just go there and watch the video. If you are confused with anything, feel free to leave a comment or contact me. I will be including my LinkedIn profile link in the description. You can just go there and give a connection request. I will be so glad to talk to you and your big brother will be there to help. If this video helped you, you can consider liking the video and let me know what other content you might want to see. Till then, take care, keep working hard and believe that you will make it someday.